Hello, my name's Sue and I work at Wisbreach Library. Today I'm going to show you some very quick, simple Christmas crafts that you can do at home with things that you can probably find around the house. Um, you don't actually have to go out and buy things to do this with. So, the first one I'm going to show you um, is a Christmas tree like the one I've got behind me here. Um, and all you need for this one uh, are paper plates, the good old paper plate, and some paint and some little decorations that you can stick on to make them look like Christmas trees. Got a bit of tinsel, I've got some little um, pom pom bulbs on that one. Um, anything, anything glittery or glitter, a bit of glue, a bit of tape. Um, and that'll do the trick. So first thing you need to do is paint with plates like this. Um, I haven't actually done the other side, but it's, be it's, it's better if you paint both sides um, and then you've got your green plates. And then all you do is you fold plates in half like that. You've got half a plate. Take scissors. Cut along the halfway line like that. So you have half a plate like this. You can stick a piece of double sided tape along the edge here. Um, or you can use glue. I just find that double sided tape's a bit stronger when you're using cardboard. Uh, or cellar tape, you can use cellar tape. Just double it around so you've got it both sides. So I'm sticking my, my tape on just here like this. Take the top layer off. And then what you do, is you bring your two ends round. So you're making a cone shape like that. And stick it down. And that is simply all you do. And you end up with a green cone that's got the shape of a Christmas tree and then you start decorating it. So I've got one here. Um, I have some little mini pom-pom pom-pons that I got from um, a craft shop and some little stick-on gems. So I made that one there and then I had a bit of tinsel which I just put around the top. And then you'll have a, at the top here, at the end, you've got a little, a little hole where the, to two, where the point is. You can push thread in there and then you can either tie a knot or just stick them down inside with a piece of sellotape. And then you've got your hangy like that. This one, I stuck tinsel around it with some pom-poms and I used the gold tape for hanging like this. You can do whatever you like. I mean, you can use, say you could cover them with um, glue and put glitter all over them. So you get a nice shiny look when they're hanging up. And then you can string them up like this, all different sizes. So you've got big plates, you've got small plates. That makes a much smaller one like this one. And it makes a nice garland at the back there. So that's the quick Christmas tree. Another Christmas tree idea I used with this one. It's a hanging thing like this, you can see. And I've used the lolly sticks that you can get in craft shops, which look like this. Um, but you can do exactly the same by cutting strips of card. If you've got some nice firm cardboard, perhaps like um, a cardboard box, that type of card. Uh, so you end up with that sort of thing. So if you cut out, you need one stick intact, which is what they all um, stick to. Or as I've done here, a strip of card, similar sort of size. 
and then you need to cut out the branches of the tree as one two three four five uh, just going down in size like this so you have again you have the Christmas tree shape um, and I cut these these ones out in cardboard and you just keep going getting smaller and smaller and then you can colour them in um, uh, these sticks I, I had was this one was already coloured so it's red and purple but you could make um, if you want to make it look more like a proper Christmas tree you could paint the middle that piece brown and then have the green branches going across whatever colours you like really and then um, I put a, a, a glittery pom-pom at the top but you could cut out a star and have a star at the top and then I had some of these um, stick-on gems. I don't know what I've done with them. Oh, like this, which come on a sheet like this. And I peeled them off and stuck them on, so you end up with it looking like that. And then I had a piece of ribbon. Oops, so I hung it up with a piece of ribbon like that. So that could go with your Christmas trees. You could have those hanging up from there as well. So another Christmas tree idea. Another idea using the sticks um, and or pieces of card, um, I've made some stars like this. Turn around so you can see it. There we are. And that was just, that's four of these lolly sticks or four pieces of card. This one I did out of card and I painted, or rather I coloured, I had a silver pen. So I coloured two of the strips with silver and two of the strips in green. And then you simply put them together, sticking them in the middle like that until you're happy with your star shape like this. Then you just stick them one on top of the other like that and this one um, the sticks I painted blue and then I had uh, I put glue on them and th threw uh, glitter all over it so you end up with a glittery star and you could do it on the other side as well so that when it's hanging up you see it on both sides and uh, on this one I use my stick on gems again, like I did with the Christmas tree on both sides. So you could make them bigger, smaller. If you had made smaller ones, you could put them on a Christmas tree. Again, you can have them hanging up with your Christmas trees at the back here. So that's another very quick idea. Now another, another um, quick craft that I've found was to make a little garland like this. If you're if you're hand if you're good um, and can make clever enough and make pom poms, you can make some pom poms like I did here. Um, doesn't matter though. You can use um, the ones that you can get in the shop are actually quite cheap to buy, and you can put them in there like that, or you can use scrunched up tissue paper. And you get this in a nice effect. I did a candy stick here, and that's red and white tissue paper, just scrunched up, and then a piece of ribbon at the top. Now these are quite easy to do. I found templates like this, which I then cut, drew around and cut out of cardboard again quite a nice stiff cardboard like you would get from a cardboard box something like that so you've got a candy cane and you've got a circle with the hole out to make your wreath and then I painted the cardboard again paint both sides I haven't painted this side but paint both sides uh, red so that any card left showing um, you don't just see plain card, you, you, it's red like that. 
uh, and then depending on how you're going to decorate it um, you can start using pom-poms I've got some pom-poms here that I've made <clears throat> so you can use a pom-pom and do alternate colours until you covered the circle like that and then just to finish it off I thought it looked rather nice I had a piece of ribbon I just stuck two bits of ribbon on the back like that and a piece of ribbon on the top like that but what you could do if you're not too clever with making pom-poms get a piece of tissue Stretch it up whatever side you're doing so if you were doing the the, the, um, the wreath you probably need them a reasonable size like that and then you start building up the colors as you go around um, and they can, that looks just as attractive as I said with the candy cane I used red and white tissue uh, alternate and then gave it a glittery hanging with the uh, at the top there so that's again two very quick ideas and the last one I'm going to show you is Rudolph now he's just a bit of fun um, and you could make him so that he just hangs like this or I've I've put him on a one of these sticks at the back uh, so he can be held or propped up against something like that but he's quite easy to make again so you need a triangle of card quite a stiff card again uh, this is, is that actually a cardboard box that I had um, it's quite hard to cut um, but it is nice and firm um, so you end up with a triangle like that and then I take one of my sticks or you could use a piece of card or you might not want to put it on a stick at all but it just got something to hold on to there um, and you just stick that on the back like that oh I should say sorry before you do that um, you either need to paint um, or I, I had some brown paper that I cut out and stuck on to give the brown colour of, of Rudolph like that I did it on both sides and then um, I had some darker brown paper which I cut the ears out with so you end up with that shape like that for his ears see that there and they just stick behind just stick them on like that so that when you when it turns around you've got the ear like that as you can see on this one he's got his ears here like that and then to make the antlers it's using um, the uh, pipe cleaners sorry I couldn't think of the name uh, using pipe cleaners so you cut out a longer one like that and then you get two smaller ones and you can just wrap round you hold it like that and then wrap it round like that and then you can just sort of bend it into an antler shape like that and once you've got your shape like this and you stick it behind your card and you get Rudolph's antler like that now obviously you need two of those stuck on you just stick them on behind like this I used um, glue in this one and the glue worked fine so so you've got his ears and you've got his antlers need a little pom-pom or um, you can uh, get a tissue paper you could use to make his red nose or you could even just color his, the tip the tip in so that it's red and then two eyes if you've got googly eyes that works well I've got 
got some googly eyes on a strip here which you could just put on um, or you could cut out some white paper and draw the black in for the eyes um, whichever it was they still look fun and that's how you end up with your Rudolph on a stick <laughs> um, or you could have him as I say you could make him into a hanging decoration and you could have him hanging from your garland, garland as well so I hope I've given you some ideas there they're all very quick um, but very Christmassy and, and you can have a lot of fun making those so have a go see how you get on and happy crafting okay bye bye for now